Welcome to Sandwiches of History. Yes, I am back from vacation and I thought I'd ease into it with a sandwich of recent history, uh, in particular, Anthony de Bourdain's favorite sandwich. Now, the thing about this sandwich is, it isn't really Anthony Bourdain's sandwich. It's an adaptation of a sandwich from Brazil. In fact, uh, our friend Joe Methy did this uh, not too long ago as a sandwich of our history when he guest hosted. But I'm gonna do the Anthony Bourdain one as the ingredients are a lot more accessible to us in the US. And it sounds pretty tasty. First thing we do is take two or three slices of mortadella, put them into stacks like this, and fry them on one side to get them a little caramelized. Okay, now we flip them over, add some provolone cheese, and caramelize them on the other side. Now we uh, toast the Kaiser roll, cut in half, in that same pan. Now on one side we put Dijon mustard, and the other side mayonnaise. I'm using Kewpie. Now we just add our little bundles of meat and cheese. <laughs> yeah, I think I know how this is going to go, but hey, let's give this Anthony Bourdain's favorite sandwich a go. Getting a lot of fattiness from, the, of course, the um, mortadella and the provolone and the mayonnaise, but a nice little sharpness of the Dijon mustard is cutting through that. This is delicious, but I do want to plus it up a little bit. I'm going to add a little Calabrian chili paste. Okay, let's give this Anthony Bourdain's favorite sandwich plussed up with a little uh, Calabrian chili paste. Oh, go. Mm -hmm. mm. That actually is delicious with the Dijon and the meat and the cheese. Mmm, gives a nice spicy kick, but also brings some flavor to the party. Okay, so the original Anthony Bourdain's favorite sandwich was tasty. It was quite simple in the number of ingredients, but it was very flavorful. I'm going to give that probably about a nine. Yeah, probably about a nine. Plus up with the Calabrian chili paste. That's like nine and a half, ten territory. It's, it's got fatty, sharpness, heat, uh, toasted bread. Definitely going to finish that. And I would make this again once in a while. I don't think I'd make it a lot because it's... Uh, Pretty rich. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow.